Wow, it's hard to believe it's already day four of VBS. We hope that this Vacation Bible School has been a blessing to your family. If you need anything, I want to let you know that we're here for you at Grace Baptist Church. We'd love to have you join us for a service. We're doing masks and social distancing and all those things. You can find information about where to find us in the video description below. Also, we have a great kids program called Patch the Pirate. You've seen Patch for the music all throughout the week. Every Thursday night at 6 o'clock, you can participate in Patch the Pirate via Zoom. And so we have online kids programs every single week. There's also a link below in the description for you, where you can sign up for Patch the Pirate. And now, here's Patch. Hey kids, y'all remember, this is Patch the Pirate talking to you. Remember, on Thursday nights, 6 o'clock, join us. It's time for... Vacation Bible Hello kids, I am Patch the Pirate. Come on and join me as we sing our pirate song. Take your place on the starting line. Be prepared in your heart and mind. Run the race with all of your mind. Take your place on the starting line. Be prepared in your heart and mind. Run the race with all of your mind. The incredible race is the race that we all must run. From the rising up to the setting sun, let us keep the pace for the glory of the sun. And long to hear our Savior's name well done. Take your place at the starting line. Be prepared in your heart and mind. Run the race with all of your might. The incredible race is the race that we all must run. From the rising up to the setting sun, let us keep the pace for the glory of the sun. And long to hear our Savior's name well done. We long to hear our Savior's name well done. Race. After the flood, all the people of earth gathered together to celebrate their worth. In the plain of Shinar, let's build a tower higher, scraping the sky, even reaching to God. Babel, babble, babble was the consequence of sin. Babel, babble, babble was the sound of foolish men. When people try to praise themselves, their very best attempt is just babble, 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 and the Lord is not impressed. The people were proud of their great cigarot. They may be humbled by the babbling after math. He got confound their language and make the people strangers. God scattered all and he toppled their pride. Babble, babble, babble was the consequence of sin. Babble, babble, babble was the sound of foolish men. 
When, when people try to praise themselves, the very best attempt is just babble, 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 and, and the Lord is not impressed. Babble, babble, babble is the consequence of sin. Babble, babble, babble was the sound of foolish men. When people try to praise themselves their very best attempt, it's just babble, babble, babble. Babble, 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 and the Lord is not impressed. Babble, babble, babble. Find a way to lend some help. Love your neighbor as yourself. Spend your time with someone else. Find a way to lend some help. Love your neighbor as yourself. Spend your time with someone else. Now spell it out. L O V E. Love is like no other. L O V E. Share it with one another. Come on, everyone. Reach out and love someone. L O V E. We're gonna love each other. God loved us from the very start. His love is in my heart. We spread His love across the earth, telling the world what He is worth. Find a way to show some grace. Help your neighbor run the race. Put yourself in second place. Find a way to show some grace. Help your neighbor run the race. Put yourself in second place. Now spell it out. L O V E. God's love is like no other. L O V E. Share it with one another. Come on, everyone. Reach out and love someone. L O V E. We're gonna love each other. We're gonna love each other. L O V E. And I did it again. It's time for. Games! All right, we're back. We have another game for our young ones for VBS. And I got my great sister Daniel here with me. He's going to demonstrate our next game. And this is, we get a game with a little ping pong ball, and we get with a plate, and he's going to show us how to get it to go across the floor without touching it. Can you do that, Daniel, you think? Yeah. I know we can. All right. All right, I'm going to get him over here. His mom's going to assist him, and Anya's going to assist him. I'm going to give him a plate. And I'm going to give him a ping pong ball. And we're going to put it down here. And we get him a line. We're going to give him five feet to go across. He's going to go five feet across the, table, the room. Put the ping pong ball down. I'm going to get out of the way. We put a blue line across here. It was about five feet across. And I'm going to get him out of the way. Yep, we got to go this way, Daniel. Got to go this way. All right. You got to get down closer to it. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Got to get down close to it. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah! All right! Yes! All right! You got a victory dance? You got a victory dance for us? Is that what that was? Is that a victory dance? You got a victory dance, huh? Whoa! He throws it for a goal! All right! And he throws it up in the air. All right, Daniel, good job. That's our next game for our long, young ones. And we'll be back shortly with one more game for our older crowd. Thank you. Good morning for another game at BBS. And it's our final game. We're going to do a little game of getting the little ping pong ball to go across the room using air power. But we're not going to use our mouths. We're not going to blow on it. We're not going to use a straw. We're going to use a paper plate today. And we're going to have our two assistants, Brandon and Carly, come up. All right? But we don't have a big stage. 
So we're going to do a down and back, but you can also be doing a down and back. We're going to set a course. Our course is going to be 10 foot long in our house. We have to have a smooth surface. We don't want to have a shag carpet because it's going to be really hard. You want to have kind of a smooth surface. You got to make sure you don't have any dogs or something like that because the dog might steal your ball. Then it might take a real long time to get done with your course. But you want to go down and you want to have a 10 foot long course. You want to go all the way down 10 foot and come all the way back and you want to have a four foot finish line. Okay, so you got to be able to go down 10 foot and come back. So you don't want to lose the ball. Okay, they only got about, what about six feet? We got about six feet to go and they're going to go back, down and back. Okay, so we're going to have a race here between Carly and Brandon. So far, Carly's up for two. Brandon's got one win. We'll see who wins this one. Okay, for this race, you should have a paper plate and one ping pong ball. Okay, we'll have them, have them get their uh, plate for plates here, each one of them. And if they'll go ahead and kneel down, I'll give them a ping pong ball. Go ahead and back up just a little bit, Brandon. There you go. Set you up ping pong ball. I'm going to get out of the way a little bit, actually. And I will count it off. And the first one back across the second blue line back here so you don't lose your ball. And you got to move with your ball, otherwise you'll lose it. Okay? When you mark, get set, go. Now you got to go back and get it up. All right, Brandon got it. We do have a winner here. Brandon got the second win. Congratulations. <laughs> and we have a grand total tie between the two of them. I don't know. Should we have some kind of a race for the win? I don't know. Let's see. Who can get out the stage fastest? Oh! I think Carly won. Yeah! <laughs> well, that comes to the end of our games. We do appreciate you having time in our VBS. I hope you have fun with the rest of our VBS and all our crafts, attending the rest of our games and all our rest of our classes. You have a good night. Thank you. Good day. Thank you. Bye bye. Please pause the video. Challenge your brother. Challenge your sister, challenge a friend, or rewind and play against Carly and Brendan. Game on! Time for Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Vacation Bible School. I'm glad you're here today. If you have your Bible, go ahead and pull it out. The Bible is God's Word. In 2 Peter 1.21, God spoke through holy men to give us his word. God speaks to us through the Bible. God tells us of his word in the Bible. He tells us of his creation. He tells us of his people, his promises, his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to take the punishment for our sins. And he can be our savior. He tells us of his love, obedience, kindness, 
in forgiveness. We know from the Bible that God created dinosaurs, animals, and people about 6,000 years ago. Not millions of years ago. This means that dinosaurs lived the same time as people. Wouldn't it be cool to live with dinosaurs and walk with dinosaurs? We would not have to be afraid of them because when God created everything, it was good. All animals, all people ate plants. Dinosaurs would not have eaten people or animals because they were not mean yet in the beginning because God's word was perfect. It was a perfect world. After the flood of Noah's day, God told people they could eat meat. Go ahead and look in Genesis chapter 9, verses 1 through 3. God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air and upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea, into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things. So now man and animals were not going to just eat plants. They were going to eat meat. We know that dinosaurs lived with man, with man, not millions of years before man. We know that dinosaurs could not have lived and died before man. Death came because of Adam's sin. Nothing could have sinned before Adam. Dinosaur bones have shown evidence of disease such as cancer, and arthritis. Dinosaur bones has, have also shown signs of red blood cells. Red blood cells could not have stayed fresh for millions of years. Dinosaurs are not millions of years old. Dinosaurs are mentioned in the Bible. The word dinosaur was not thought of until 1841. Dino means terrible, and saurus means lizard. It sounds like a terrible lizard. They are, they are not called dinosaurs in the Bible, but there are descriptions of animals in the Bible that sound like dinosaurs. I want you to turn to the book of Job, chapter 40, verse 15. Through 24, it gives the description of the behemoth. Behold now, behemoth which I made with thee, he eateth grass as an ox. Lo now, his strength is in his loins, and his force is in his navel of his belly. He moveth his tail like a cedar. The sinews of his stones are wrapped together. His bones are as strong as pieces of brass. His bones are like bars of iron. He is the chief of the ways of God, he that made him can make his sword to approach him unto him. Surely the mountains bring forth food, where all the beasts of the field play. He lieth under the sandy trees in the covert of the reed and fence. The shady trees cover him with shadow. The willows of the brook compass him about. Behold, he drinketh up a river and hasteth not. He trusteth that he draw up Jordan into his mouth. He take it with his eyes, and his nose pierceth through snares. In the book of Job 21, or 41, it describes a Leviathan. His teeth are terrible, his scales are, pri are his pride, shut up together with a close seal. One is so near to another that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They stick together. They cannot be sundered. By his kneesings, a light doth 
shine, and his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning. Out of his mouth go burning lamps, and sparks of fire leap out. Out of his noses, nostrils groweth smoke, as out of a seething pot or cauldron. His breath kindleth coals, and a flame goeth out of his mouth, and his neck remaineth strength, and sorrow is turned into joy before him. The flakes of his skin are joined together. They are firm in themselves. They cannot be moved. His heart is as firm as a stone, as hard as a pierce of the nether stone, millstone. It sounds like this creature lived in the sea. Terrible teeth, rows of scales, breaths of fire. The book of Job shows us that Dinosaurs lived alongside man because the book of Job was written after the flood, just a few thousand years ago. Many pictures of dinosaurs have been found on cave walls, pottery, and stone carvings. People who lived then along the dinosaurs drew these pictures. But what happened to the dinosaurs? The Bible tells us of a worldwide flood at the time of the man named Noah. When the dinosaurs came off the earth, or came off the ark, the world was different. It was colder, it was harsher, and there was less food, there was sickness. People were now hunting animals, so they were hunting the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs died out and became extinct. Some think, people think that dinosaurs turned into birds, but that is not true. God made every animal after its own kind. So God did not take a bird and turn it into a dinosaur and then turn it into a man. The Bible tells us that birds were created before dinosaurs. God made birds on the fifth day. God made animals, dinosaurs, on day six, the land animals. I just would like to say goodbye to you all, and I'm glad you were here today. It's time for... Crafts! Welcome back to VBS Craft Time. You know... Um, God created all the animals, and he even made the pretty little butterflies for us to enjoy. And today, we're going to make a little butterfly. We, we start, you have your little baggie, and it's full. With, it has everything in it that you'll need to make your craft. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the little chenille wire, and we're going to fold it up to make the antenna for, the, for our little butterfly. You just fold it like that. So now we're going to fix the little antenna. That's going to, for your little bees. And then you stick it onto the little rectangle piece. And we'll lay that aside for right now. And then this is your actual butterfly. We're going to put some eyes on it. He's, he's a happy little fella. And we'll... Stick the eyes on there. Doesn't he look happy? And then on the back here, you take this and you put it on your little plate right in the middle. Okay. Then you put your antenna behind it. Here's this. My eyes are not wanting to stick today, but there you go. Here and you get you fix your little antenna. You, once you get it on there, you can kind of see how I've done on the back. Okay. And then you get to decorate it. You have all these pretty things to decorate with. Take them and you decide a design you want. I started out with these. 
I like different colors. And you have all these stickers, and you can make it as pretty as you want. And then when you finish, well, this little fella's lost his antenna, but this is what, how my first one looked like. And you can take and add this to the back, and you can hang it up. And it should stick right there on the back, with, where, uh, right below your antenna. Okay, and all the instructions come in the back. Thank you. Please pause the video and complete your craft. When you are finished, press play. That's it. That's a wrap. That's all, folks. Thanks for making this a great year of VBS at Grace Baptist Church.